asking people. When you go in the store and you ask and you spend your money, ask them, do you invest in this community? Do you invest in, in, in any programs or do you support any charities? What charity do you support? They see what they say. Oh, well, I don't have to answer that question. You got to talk to my man. Where's well, your manager here? But you get the manager and find out, you know, over the last year, what charities have y'all supported? Do you support any churches, any, anything here in this community? And if they're not willing to even <laughs> speak on it, then you should know. That should be a good inclination that you probably shouldn't be willing to put your money into it. Two thousand four, Chester High. I'm an eleventh grader in Chester High, understanding what was going on within the school district itself, and and just realizing what difficulties the current students were going through. And a couple of my classmates nominated me to take a stand against what was going on. My name is Malcolm Anais Flamer, and I work for Twenty Twenty Companies as Market Development Manager for Nokia. I knew Corey from the radio, of course, you know, growing up, you listen to you listen to the radio, so seeing him in there, um, and he actually saw me taking accountability for what we need to do as students to better the school district. We need to be put in the right position. And at the time I took a stand and Corey saw me taking a stand and seeing that the student wanted to make a change, but I went, didn't want to make a change for the current generation. It was generations to come. I was thinking about my niece going through Chester Upland School District and dealing with the pitfalls that I had to deal with. I didn't want that for her. So I took a stand. And with Corey noticing me making that change, things started. It's not what you know, it's who you know. At every single Team Mag event, network, network, network. Because you never know who you might meet. Um, Corey, and the rest of the team has to have it. put me in a room, put me in the rooms with power people, power players, smart, intelligent folks, and just really building that connection. It can be simply as humbling as sitting down at an Upland Diner, getting something to eat. Just try to build and make that connection. Cause you never know what, what someone may want to pour in you and help you change to be something that you never thought you could be. Um, Corey be with the kids more. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. And I'm saying this from the bottom of my heart, and I hope you see this. I enjoy spending time with you. With you. I enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, we. Uh, yeah, some things you said you made me mad, some things you said you made me upset, but that's what a person that cares about you is supposed to do. Because they see something in you that they need, that they feel that you're, that's not you and you need to change. I enjoyed the skating rink. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the, the position you gave to me, even learning how to DJ and stream and spin music. You gave me the, the, the knowledge and understanding, understand beat measures to where it's that no matter what song is playing, the beat measure is almost the same. It's going to blend well. And that's something that I still take into this day. Um, to the mentors, care about your students as if they're your own. Now with me understanding that and me being a father and understanding what I want for my daughters, take that same step with that student you're working with. Have compassion, understand it. One thing I did not understand really with the trauma at the time that the students that we were working with, and I mean the team that we was with, it was me, Ricky Taylor, my brother from another mother, um, Angel Satchel. I ain't calling her by her full name. I like I call her Angel. And Miss Mimi. Um, we worked with the students at the time, and we actually sat through a trauma session and really listening and understanding what our students and our youth go through within this city. It hurt me because I felt that. Sorry. I felt that 
we wasn't doing what we were doing for them. The team was found shot on 11th and Parker. Mm. That's just blocks from. I'm just remembering the stories that I was hearing. Reporter Alicia and Nieves is live at the school, which remains. Awkward. It made me. They made me put all my things aside to really work with these students. And it hurt because hearing a student say they just seen a friend and then hearing that they were shot blocks away, that was that was chilling. Because sometimes we're so caught up in what we got going on within ourselves and what we got going on ourselves, we don't know that this student is crying for help. And a lot of our students are crying for help and their their cries are not listened to. And I know we can't get everybody, but the ones we can listen. If your youth are saying something to you, mentors, listen. If you feel that you can't handle it on your own, go to any one of the other facilitators within Team Mac to get you help, to help out that student that needs that help. 